Today we'll be taking a look at the NU metagame, some trends, the common Pokemon, and the best Pokemon. I'm not alone, I have my boy Eon X, and I also will have timestamps down below if there's a specific Pokemon that you want us to skip to, or that you want specifically to skip to. Let us know down below what you guys think about the NU tier, and before we go any further, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Atlantica Global, a free-to-play MMORPG with a tactical combat system. Venture out into the world of Atlantis where you'll find otherworldly monsters, amazing gear, and even more battle-hardened adventures like yourself. They have a new mercenary, the assassin Natasha. She seems to contain revenge on one side of her heart because she has a scar from the past, which I can't help but laugh about because my ex Natasha was the exact same way so this might be her and right now you can get $100 worth of items when you join the pre-registration and use the coupon code on the screen you can get the ancient battle package ancient minotaur set and more you can also get milestone rewards that will boost Natasha's skill book and log in for seven days in a row and to get other special bonuses so click my link down below and try out the pre-registration event now before it's too late and a big thank you to Atlantica Global for sponsoring this video. All right, so Eon, why don't you uh, start off the list with one of the best Pokemon in the tier? I would probably say the best Pokemon in the tier or close to it. Mm. So we have Passimian, easily the best choice card user in the tier. I don't think that's really even close. Uh, it's got a good speed tier. It's got Defiant, so Intimidate shenanigans from the likes of Quillfish aren't going to work. Punishes Defog, which is not super common in the tier because we don't have a lot of good defog users down here uh but regardless it doesn't need a defiant boost it's got base 120 attack it's got close combat we don't have a lot of fairy types down here outside of terra fairy pokemon so you're generally clicking close combat you have knockoff and u-turn for really good utility uh, knockoff is not a widely distributed move especially in inu not too many common pokemon have it i think zoroark is the other common pokemon yeah, that has it even just in this gen in general for right now anyway it's just not anywhere so the fact that pasimi and a fighter has it just a consistent move to hit ghosts is and, and psychics and everything is just so so and just getting rid of items because nothing's getting rid of items too even the even the Bisharps and the King Gambits, those they're they're kowtowing and night slashing. So yeah, what what happened to their knockoffs, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, you also have U-turn to keep up momentum. Obviously, any Scarf user loves having a pivot move, and Pisidian is no different. Uh, the last move is kind of dependent on what you wanted to hit after that. Uh, Rock Slide is really nice. It hits all the Oricorios, uh, primarily Pom Pom and Sensu. Those are the two common ones down here. Um, they can otherwise come in after you've came with something with close combat, set up with Quiver Dance, and reverse sweep your team, and that's not a good feeling. Um, you can Terra Blast with Terra Fairy. Um, this is mainly for other Pasimian. You and Meta Champ. You turn, you turn into a good check to yourself. Yes. And one shot. Um, Fairy is also never a bad type to lock into offensively. Uh, it, has, it has no immunities, pretty good coverage. And then the last move is Gunk Shot. Uh, this is kind of a recent trend, um, but a lot of the Sandaconda down here, and we'll discuss this more when we talk about Sandaconda, um, a lot of them are Terra Fairy right now, um, due in part to Basimian, but also Gudra, Mabostiv, Zoroark. Like, fairy is just a really sought after type as we discussed there's not yeah. really any fairy types in the tier aside from terra fairy pokemon and gunk shot is a really good way to catch those saying they're kind of off guard because odds are if they've already terrored the fairy they're gonna try to switch into you yeah and i mean terra fighting on a choice scarf mon is just great you just get that beautiful boost right mm -hmm. like you get the, the 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 speed of choice scarf and the power of a boosting item which is amazing uh, i also want to note that besides even though choice scarf is the most common set and really good uh, other sets you'll see are like sub bulk up with drain punch which are kind of nasty mm -hmm. to deal with because you know it is not a frail pokemon it's obviously no. it has base 60 special defense but that doesn't really matter when you have base 100 hp right like that this mon tanks hits and it's really tough to break its sub as well and reliable recovery with drain punch it's just it also gets chilling water i don't understand this move <laughs> distribution you didn't get scald pessimian <laughs> uh, okay okay you know it's it's a it's a it, it plays ball so, i guess the water boy i don't know what it is dude it's just uh is that there, is, there's there's some move choices in general that make me question reality <laughs> yeah i want to I i'm gonna make a fun video about that that's just really weird to me but yeah it's a really <laughs> it's a really strong pokemon it's really good uh like it, for a choice scarf user it's really really tanky 
you know, just eats the physical hits, can eat Santa Cana's like two earthquakes, um, eats a close combat from opposing Scarf Pesimia, which is nice. I think Band is really good too. Uh, I just think yeah. that Scarf Speed tier is just so good in this tier, especially because there's a lot of base 80s, right? You got this, you got Gudra, you got Medicham. So having this speed tier in particular, I mean, it's it's why well, it's one of the top Pokemon, the like top of the viability list. So I know we don't talk a bunch about speed tiers in early metas, but I really do feel like right now base 80 is kind of the benchmark for offensive Pokemon in, in you right now. If you're below that, you're just inherently a bit worse because you're falling behind Mabostiff, who sits at base 85. You're falling behind Manichan, which sits at base 80. Obviously, Passimian, who sits at base 80. Um, I really feel like if you're below base 80, you're kind of handicapping yourself against these Pokemon yeah. because... Like yeah, all you're, three, you're slower than the like biggest all, threats, basically. And you're yeah, an offensive yeah, like, Pokemon. Like, like all, all four of Mabostiff, Gudra, Passimian, Manichan are not easy to switch into and i would prefer my offensive pokemon to at least be tied these so i have a chance of killing them before they kill me exactly i agree speaking of uh offensive pokemon that can oh kill gudra uh the worst pseudo legendary uh look at it best in you compared to don't feel, don't feel like it in you <laughs> obviously it's comparatively right but yeah. Gujra's home is usually NU and UBL, right? Typically, oh, uh, that's going to be Gujra... NUBL this year. Yeah, for sure, for change. sure, it'll be ba- for sure it'll be banned. So Gujra is a little powerhouse down here, right? One ten special attack is amazing. Good bulk. Uh, we already talked about the base eighty speed here, how important it is, right? Ties with Passimian, ties with Metacham, ties with opposing Gujra. So very, very good speed here, uh, and fantastic special bulk, right? That's like the biggest thing about this mod, right? The Absolutely. strong special bulk and, and just amazing coverage. Right, you have Draco, Fire Blast, Thunderbolt, and Sludge Bomb. This is the Choice Vex set, so this is the breaking set. The Terra Dragon just makes you that much stronger. I've also used Terra Poison on Assault Vest, which I think is really solid too. Uh, so Sludge Bombs for all the the Terra Fairies that everybody does, and the Stab yeah. Sludge Bomb, Absorbing Toxic Spike, um, which I think is pretty cool and too, and you know, being uh, resistance to Fairy, which I think is really nice as well, and just having uh, the Fighting Resist, so you resist Passimian too. So. Um, I love I love Choice Specs Gudra. It's just the nuke of the special nuke of the tier. I would I would call it right. Oh, easily. Yeah, it, it's probably the nuke of the tier in general. Uh, like I know like Mabasta will have something to say about that. Bruxish has something to say about that. But Draco switchings don't exactly exist outside of like Copperazzo, which gets roasted by Fire Blast. Um, another there are two other sets that. I think are pretty good down here. Uh, you mentioned Assault Vest. I So I like the pivot set, the pivot idea of using the bulk to generate offense, but Inu doesn't really have good hazard control outside of maybe Oracorio. So I kind of like heavy duty boots on like the pivot set using defense to create offense mm. um, because it's really easy to hazard stack in this tier and keep them up. And Assault Vest is just going to get worn down super fast. Um, and then another set that is hilariously very insane if it's set up properly is uh, the Acid Armor set uh, because Kudra, for whatever reason, with base 70 defense, gets body press. Yeah. I mean, that's not, I that's I not for this. It's not for this Kudra. It's, it's for Hisuian. It's definitely for Hisuian Kudra whether they oh, get yeah. into it. Because it has the shell. Oh, yeah. It has the shell and everything. So, yeah. But yeah, mm. it, but yeah it has that. It has that. Acid armor, which is basically iron defense, but just in a different name. Um, and then it gets dragon tail as well. So anything you try to bring in to stop it from setting up, it just phases out on its own and then continues setting up. And it gets the crappy uh, so life do. Yeah. <laughs> so so those are the uh, like three Gudra sets that I feel are the best. Obviously, the setup one, you're probably not using Terra Dragon. You're probably using something like Terra Fairy or Terra Steel to ease your setup chances. Almost, almost always, I think Terra Fairy on that one uh, more than Steel. Yeah. Just the fighters are too good in the tier. Um, the the Steel types, oh, yeah. the Steel types in the tier, like Top Raja will not beat you after a couple defense raises anyway. And if you stay in regularly good, I will I will say that you could use a rest on that set um, because you know it's it, it, this is definitely going to be better on suing Guja right because it can't be crit and it's also naturally oh, better yeah. defensive typing, but. You can definitely use rest on that. Uh, you probably could get away with life do on that set in particular, just because on the special side you won't be taking much damage anyway, and on the physical side you'll be uh, boosting your defense more and more. So uh, while I do think life do is a very bad recovery move, and the reason why jungle healing, which is still a bad recovery move, but is good on um, 
What's it called? Zarud. Zarud. Zarud is because it also heals your status. Yeah. So that's that's a big big thing, and also Zarud is fast as hell. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I don't know if Gujar's gonna be staying. It's probably gonna be in its home. It's gonna be a nice little BL night and UBL. Uh, I could definitely see it being used in RU too. I mean, we could probably discuss that next time we discuss RU again. Um, but I can definitely see it being used. Like it's only, I do only feel... Blissey is there. Yeah, I do feel the only reason it's not used in RU is because Dragalgy is Dra Dragalgy is there, and usually Dragalgy is just better because Poison gives it some more resistance. Stab, yeah, the initial stab and, and toxic spikes. Yeah, like if Dragalgy wasn't RU, I think Gudra would be RU. Damn, frankly, you know, if Dragalgy didn't exist, Gudra would probably be a Dragon Poison as well. Like if realistic. That's all. So true, yeah. Yeah, I can have see to call it the I same mean, damn even gen. Even has Gooey. Like, yeah, they literally made them the same gen. It's like ah, Dragalgy's there, we can't make it. I am a huge Sanaconda connoisseur. I love it. Uh, obviously, we have the Stealth Rock Glare Earthquake Rush set. Uh, Shed Skin is beautiful, right? Like, there's already yep. less. Um, there's already less toxic in this game period, but toxic spikes. Some poisons still get that. Uh, poisons do get that. Excuse me. They can use that. Um, they gave Muck toxic spikes now, right? So. Yep. Yep. Muck has toxic spikes. Muck is solid in this tier. Um, and obviously the Rocky Helmet pair is great with Rush Glare, you know, 100% accurate, paralyze the opponent. Uh, Coil can be used on this set too if you want. You can also, if you didn't want to use like Stealth Rock, uh, you could definitely use yeah. Coil. Mm -hmm. For sure. Coil set. I've seen Coil Glare as well, which is so annoying. <laughs> That's so greedy. <laughs> that is so greedy. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, one of the better uh, Passimian answers too, because you punish it with Rocky Helmet and, you know, Metacham too. You take 10 million percent from Close Combat. And then you tear a fairy, and you actually live the next hit somehow. Um, and, and, you then, do, and then you rest off like nothing ever happened. And, and then Shedskin activates And they stick in all their damage. <laughs> yep, Shedskin doesn't activate for you, but it activates for your opponent every first yep. time. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a good... Uh, I think it's also, like, I, I the reason I like Stone Edge on it, too, is because just I don't like my Stealth Rocker and Glare, like, hard-walled by Oricorio, right? Like, this set in particular, hard-walled by Oricorio. Oh, yeah. But rest is just so good. As well, I do think that if you want to use it without rest, uh, Vap is a good partner. Vaporeon is a really good partner to Wish Pass. They they pair pretty pretty well together, especially if Vaporeon Terra's too. Um, but we'll get more yeah. Vaporeon later. Yeah. So I feel Sandaconda is. So I don't think it's the outright best Pokemon on the tier. I think that's either Persimmon or Gudra. But I think Sandaconda is the most consistent Pokemon on the tier. As in, you put it on your team, you're gonna get value out of it every game, almost no matter what. And Terra Fairy, like, is so good because, as I've already mentioned a couple of times, we're kind of short on fairy types in the MU, naturally. So most things are Terra Fairying to provide a fairy type. Yeah. And just having a fairy type with this high of physical bulk and Rocky Helmet to punish, like, all the close combats, the U-turns, and all the other random physical moves you're probably going to get hit with over the course of the game is really really good uh i will say um if you use sanaconda especially on more stylish teams you're probably going to be able to fit another stealth rocker on there i would definitely run an offensive rock move so you're not destroyed by or Corey. exactly it's interesting though because like sanaconda would typically be your pu and then we'd have mudsdale mm -hmm. down here usually but mudsdale's are you so this mon just uh makes his way it's just it's cool it's just cool i think sanaconda is a really underrated pokemon i think the coil set is really good too um, I, I like it a lot, and I agree with you in terms of consistency. Like, uh, not only it, it has, I, I would call Rush Shed Skin reliable recovery, right? Like, yeah, it's reliable I, enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I would call it reliable recovery, right? It's a, it's a one in three chance of waking up at the end of each turn. So, and that could be insane. Like, you see how Scrafty does it with bulk up. So the same thing with Santa Kondo yeah. with Coil. Um, and I mean, I and mean, it's so funny. It's like. He'll say, you know, there's not really any fairies down here, but, you know, you ladder in NU and you see a fairy every game, right? Whether it's Kaparaja or Persimian or Gudra or Sanaconda or, or, or Oricorio yeah. or Vesicon or anything. Literally anything becoming fairy just type. About, just about anything defensive has the option of Terra Fairy. And uh, one thing too. I will, one, Yeah, one thing I will note on the uh, coil set that you're talking about, don't forget, two-move coverage of Quake Edge is really good. So yeah. unless you're Clyde like, or Golurk, like, you're not resisting it. Uh, well, Golurk takes neutral. It's not. It's not a levitating. Program. Sorry, I'm thinking about Terrakion. I was thinking more so uh, Claydol. Yeah, unless you're Claydol, you're yeah, not yeah, resisting. Yeah. It. Excuse me. 
Yeah, and like Berlin is nowhere near here. Thank goodness. That would break the game probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, this thing is really good. Uh, um, defensively, you can set up with it with coil. Um, I think that definitely has potential like on like slower semi-stall stall teams. Yeah, and it's a good um, lead too. It's a good sash lead for offense as well. We'll just yeah. sash, glare, get the guaranteed stealth rock up basically. Uh, you definitely yeah, want Stone then, Edge on that one too because you want yeah, it. it. Yeah, you hit something with Earthquake or Stone Edge before you go down and then you go from there. Yeah, you go to your offense. I, I love this one. But speaking of Pokemon I love, the glow up dude on Oricorio is insane. It getting yeah. Quiver Dance was like the biggest but It was literally the biggest blessing because I mean, we have Roost Hurricane, Revelation Dance, Quiver Dance and we do have Terror Ground which is very, very common on Oricorio Pom Pom. Um, and there's also the Defog Roost support set as well yep. that can work mm -hmm. on Oricorio Pom Pom too because like he mentioned before, there are very little uh, Defoggers in this tier that and that are good, right? It's probably, it's probably the best Defogger. <laughs> yeah, that. literally. That's crazy, yeah. bro. The little the cheerleader is the best Defogger. Actually insane. I've actually seen um, a lot of, uh, what's it called, Braviary running Defog too uh, as well, which I think is, isn't terrible. Um, but I think for the most part, you almost always want to be attacking with Braviary. But I don't think it's terrible, like I said. Uh, I believe that the Defog set was Defog with Sheer Force, and it had Life Orb Hurricane as well. <laughs> so, you know, it's a decent combo, right? Because you lower the evasiveness, and you have a, a higher chance of hitting Hurricane. But right. this mod's insane. Uh, as you can see, our speed tier is just faster than those base 80s, and then the rest in defense. Because it's, it's a decent Passimian check, too, right? It's not too KO by Close Combat. Um pre-terra uh eats knockoff as well oh, this set will eat a rock slide too uh feel free to add of course so we did discuss this in are you and we kind of alluded to this but this is basically baby zapdos yeah um you're basically using your dual staff combination to deal damage using your typing to take hits and then once the opposing team is sufficiently weakened, you're wanting to quiver dance and sweep using Roost to negate damage that you take them all setting up or over the course of the game in general. Uh, you can obviously uh, use Defog, U-Turn, stuff like that. Uh, I would always go with this EV spread though, because um, it, gets, it gets you ahead of Passivian at plus one. And that's really important. Uh, short scarf for semi, obviously. Yeah, no matter what, I think um, you should always be faster than base 80s on this Pokemon. Like, like this is the minimum, like this is the minimum speed you should run, and you can go for like full offensive EVs, but I feel the, the Sensu form, uh, which is the Ghost form of Oricorio, I feel that's better with the full offensive spread. Oh, just because Ghost Be is just stronger, yeah, offensively. Yeah, because it's stronger offensively, you're weaker to more types with that typing, and you're immune to um, fighting immediately. Like you don't take any damage from the close combat, so. Yeah. Um, so overall, like both both are really good. Uh, I think Pom Pom is better, uh, but I also think Pom Pom is probably going to Aru this month. Dude, uh, yeah, yeah, of, it has a lot of usage up there too. Oh yeah, my! Because of, yeah, because of the bans and the meta shifts that have happened up there, uh, which we'll probably discuss at another time. But I feel this one is probably not going to be around in Mars, not because it gets quick ban or anything, but I think it goes up to Aru by usage. I don't. I... It sucks too, because again, it's a great mod in the tier. Like not only the Quiver Dancer, but just one of the it's better. So good. One of it's the better so easy to put on a team. Yeah, literally, literally. Can use the pivot set with Defog U turn. I mean, I'm not saying Sense is bad. Obviously, Oricorio Sense is not bad at all. Ooh, yeah, I might, I might start using Oricorio Pow 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 Pow. Pa, yeah, I don't know. How to pronounce. I'm not gonna try. Whatever. I uh, might start I, using I that. will say these. I will say these first four Pokemon that we've mentioned. Uh, these are what I consider to be the big four in Inu right now. You could honestly put all four of them on a team, and it doesn't really matter what your last two Pokemon are. It's probably going to work just fine. Not bad. I agree completely. And then this! They finally made Vespaquin good. All right. So it's a combination of a few things. One, one of the few, uh, one of the Pokemon that still has a roost right now. So still reliable recovery. Two, gave that homie spikes. It already got toxic spikes last gen, but they mm -hmm. gave it spikes. Three, it's still one of the Pokemon that learns Toxic as well, and it's not even a Poison type, which is very important because they were very picky. And, and, we, and weird, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they were very picky about who learned Toxic, right? They got rid of it in most move pools. And, I mean, there there are other Pokemon like Quagsire and stuff, and I, I think a lot of it has to do with, like, where they grow up. Like, oh, know, yeah. Uh, but the biggest buff is the fact that it can Terra and get rid of Bug and Fly, man. 
Oh my god. It's actually a decent Pokemon now. It's so crazy. That's so the... I will say, um, you bring it up to Terra. That's really important for this. Another important thing, and this is something that I've kind of noticed uh, within you. Um, a lot of the best teams seem to be balanced and bulky offense. What do you generally need with those types of teams? You need something that can take hits and slow pivot. Base 40 speed U-turn, I would consider that a slow pivot. That's a very slow pivot. That is, um, That might be one of the slowest it, pivots out there. Imagine how hard it already is to deal with stuff like Bruxish, Gudra, Mabostiff. Now imagine them getting in on For free. favorable matchups without having to take damage. Yep. For straight up free. So it's so cool to see the queen on top. I love it. I love it. It's viable. It's a I great love this spiker. Thing. Yeah. I, it is one of my favorite Pokemon to use right now. And another reason I love it, uh, we have specially defensive lists the EV spread here because I think Sandaconda is like the best Delta Rocker in the tier, and this pairs super well with it. Um, however, Copperage is also a very solid Stealth Rocker in the tier. You can go Fizzna Vespaquin and just put it with Copperage and it'll be just fine. I also want to note like, that there are no attacks on this set, but you can for sure run Hurricane in Oko, um, Oko Medicine. Oh, yeah. And like, oh yeah, you can you can definitely run like a flying move to catch Cocky, Medicham, and Pacivian off guard. Don't use air slash. Don't use air slash though. I'm, I'm being serious. If you're gonna use it, you might as well go for the kill. Don't oh, go for yeah. don't go for go 70 for 80 percent. Go yeah, exactly. You're a best. They they sleeping on that base 80. Go for the kill and use hurricane. If you miss, you you you, you type in the chat. You some, if, if some you, angry words. If you miss, you, should, you if you miss, you just uh, type in the chat. Classic Mons moment. That's it. That's the truth. It's the truth. But it's such a great mon. Fairy and Ghost are good. Ghost blocks spin, but also close combat. Uh, it's it's uh, it's, I want to say it's a poison resist because I mean it's true. It's a poison resist. Um, it's yeah. also fairies. Obviously, you know the go to I think for most Pokemon though. And I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just being able to res like not be weak to rocks is so nice. Uh, I do like Ghost though because like the fighters in the tier get like hard walled. We already talked about the others, but there's other ones like Tauros and uh, Tauros is really interesting as well. The combat one, I've seen a lot of like bulk up uh, Terra Electric. Uh, I've seen bulk up Terra Rock, which was interesting to fight. But yeah, I'm liking the Queen a lot. But this one of the biggest glow ups, right? They finally gave my boy Mug T Spike. They finally gave regular Mug Poison Jab, right? I don't. I mean, jo wow, no Joint Punch, right? I don't think regular yeah. monk book had Dream Punch before. I don't think so. It might have. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to check in a sec, but you can discuss Muck while I go check. But I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm accurate. Yeah, so Muck is strictly a specially defensive wall for the most part. Um, toxic is really good on it. You can use Toxic Spikes if you prefer that. R really glad it has that, by the way. Um, the main appeal of it right now, though, is Haze. Having a especially bulky Pokemon with haste to deal with the Quiver Dancers of the tier is really nice. Um, it just like makes it harder for them to just go through your whole team, which they are very capable of doing, don't get me wrong. Yep. Um, and then Poison Touch is a nasty ability. Whenever you use Drain Punch to heal, you got a 30% chance of also poisoning the target in case you're not running Toxic Spikes and you don't have time to Toxic them. Um, and then Poison Jab is your traditional stab option that most defensive Pokemon carry just so they can deal with what they're supposed to deal with offensively. Um, this is honestly a very solid underrated Pokemon. Another Pokemon that's been getting a lot of usage recently is Guntank uh, for similar reasons. Uh, that poison typing gets toxic spikes. Yeah, they both got toxic spikes. Uh, it did confirm Muck did get Drain Punch this generation, which is really cool. And I think that's really cool for Suin Muck too. I mean, no, Suin, wow. Alolan Muck, Alolan. when that one comes <laughs> back as well. Yep. But um, just to note, Poison Touch, Poison Jab, uh, the combination is 51% chance to poison your opponent with Poison so Jab. So those so are you're probably so you're, so you're probably not poisoning the opponent, but your opponent's definitely poisoning you. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, I love Toxic Protect Strats, especially on super, super bulky mods. I cannot wait to use this in a, in a video. This this mod and uh, Slacking are like the two I'm very excited for uh, to use in NU. 
but muck is just it's like little glide score with this right it's like mini tox effects i think mini tox effects is a little bit better because you got your recover aka drain punch you got your scald aka poison jab you got haze or protect painful bunker or haze and you got your status right um really really nice uh, being a poison type being, resisting fighting right now is very important in a pokemon and this mom being able to tank a hit from gudra i think is really nice the passive recovery yeah, I, I will yeah. say leftovers is greater than black sludge at the moment because if you tear a ghost you don't want to take damage um that's true yeah personally uh but then again it yeah, could be for normally, trick. yeah yeah normally i'm not tearing muck i just kind of listed it as a terror type uh, normally, you're kind of wanting to keep that poison typing for the fighting resistance, the bug resistance, so you're also resisting U-turn. Um, and, like, one of the other things um, about Muck and Skun Tank, too, is that you're a grounded poison type, so you're absorbing opposing toxic spikes, and hazard removal in Inu is kind of bad, it's as we've already bad. talked about a yep. couple times. So having a grounded poison type, whether it's Muck or Skun Tank, which kind of thing also has taunt for Devog, which is really nice. And it's one of the big reasons it would be used over Muck, but they're both kind of used for the same purpose. You're basically sponging special hits, you're absorbing T-spikes, you're annoying the opposing team with toxic or toxic spikes. Um, I think Muck is overall better because of the fighting resistance, but Skunting is not bad either because it does have viable use cases over Muck. Just the speed tier is pretty big, the aftermath, mm -hmm. etc. Um, yep. So I think that's really nice. Also, uh, just the initial crunch i really like it but um yeah this, we got this, a baby croc next dude i did a whole live with this month it's amazing it's amazing uh, i i will say that um when i use it i like slack off flamethrower will-o-wisp plus roar but i was using it on hazard stack and i liked will-o-wisp mm -hmm. roar because um i was using it i think it was are you actually so for like cloister and stuff like that it might have been yeah. RU. it could have been any but it might have been are you um and so I like the Willowis obviously for that, but this is so nice. Um, Crocolore is basically baby skeleton, right? Unaware fire type. Fire is not terrible defensively, right? Besides taking stealth rock, it's actually not terrible defensively. Being resistant to grass is probably the biggest one opposing fire moves as well. Like if you actually look at the uh, tier itself, uh, well in this tier it's bad defensively, right? That's why you Terra. But fire in yeah. general is just, it's it's just, it's solid. It's, it doesn't. What I mean by that is that like it doesn't have very many weaknesses, right? You got ground, you got rock, you got water. Now those happen to be some of the most common moves in the game, but when they're, they're not, down here, where, yeah, when they're not throwing those off, when they ain't throwing those off, they're solid. And the Aviolite or Eviolite is whatever. I don't, I don't really care how you pronounce things, like as long as I understand what yeah. you're talking about personally. Um, but Steel and Ghost are there. Fairy is of course a nice slash as well. Um, Steel is I think really good. Ghost is just you know, I'll, I'll, I'm Skeletor's at home type of thing. Encore yeah. <laughs> is Encore is beautiful versus defensive Pokemon. It is beautiful versus defensive Pokemon. And then uh, what I, I, I as well in this set, like I think that Encore could definitely be Slasher, Roar, and will -O because you combine that with Yawn as well and you're stacking up hazard mm -hmm. damage. It's a beautiful little combo, but go on, bro. Yeah, this is just a, this is one of the staples of like stall teams in the tier right now it is by far and away the best unaware pokemon might be the only unaware pokemon in the tier. <laughs> i don't know that offhand though is um, can i use whooper uh is whooper learn unaware um it might i don't know if that's i mean it has ice punch without hands so it probably learns unaware i mean it does have the happiest face in all of pokemon so there's, i'll give it that there's double whoops though there's like there's whooper and whooper ah yeah uh but regardless like being able to be a especially defensive unaware Pokemon in a tier with a lot of good Quiver Dance Pokemon and you're hitting them for neutral or super effective damage is really good because also remember that unaware not only applies to their special attack damage that they're giving to you, you also ignore their passive special defense boost they get from using Quiver Dance yep. because they're using it for special attack and speed. Beautiful Venomoth answer. Yep. Uh, Beautiful also, Combine Jolteon answer too. Yeah, also a good uh, uh, Frostbomb answer. Yeah. Because um, you're hitting that for quad effective damage, which is not a no co because that thing is very especially bulky with ice scales, but you're still two shotting it easily. It's also um, good to know that that mon can sometimes tear ground, so obviously your own Terra Ghost is just nice. You know, neutral yeah. versus everything. Yeah, that's why I slash Ghost, because even though Steel, I think, is the better defensive typing, because it also lets you take a Draco from Gudra. Um, but. 
like Ghost, if you're just wanting to deal with the Quiver Dancers, Sans the Sensu or Choreo form, then you would want to Terra Ghost, and then obviously the Sensu you would just stay in Fire Tight so it doesn't hit you for super effective damage. Um, I will say be careful when you're using this as a Gudra check, uh, because <laughs> free Draco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, remember that Unaware also ignores their stat drops as well, so it can Draco into Fire Blast, and if you're Terra Steel already, you're in trouble. Yeah. And if you're not Terra Steel, you're also in trouble because Draco hits like a truck. Especially if that mod specs, it's, it's a wrap. But it's a really cool answer to the next two Pokemon we're going to be discussing. So Jolteon is obviously really strong. Um, choice specs making a comeback. I feel like Jolteon was the Pokemon you always saw on the low ladder, uh, just for just for you know, uh, did Gen six, Gen five, Gen seven, but now Jolteon's a legitimate threat with Terra. Uh, so we have right here Voltus Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Terra Blast Grass. Basically, perfect coverage on this Pokemon. Right, you're hitting everything for neutral with this set, and then. Uh, the other set that we could talk about is Jolteon now is Calm Mind. All the evolutions of Calm Mind. It feels like Gen 2 when they all got growth via the event. Did right, that, yeah. But that isn't, so, it doesn't get them again, but it's really cool to see. But uh, Sub Calm Mind, Thunderbolt plus Ice Beam, Bolt Beam coverage is really strong too. Jolteon is extremely fast. If we actually go through the entire tier list, I am failing to find a Pokemon faster than Jolteon in NU. And that is because Jolteon is the fastest Pokemon. When, of course, if Pokemon are not boosted or running choice items but Jolteon is the fastest Pokemon in the NU tier and it's so nice to see that this Mon is once again having some usage and not only that but very strong right the Thunderbolt and Voltage are beautifully strong uh, Shadow Ball is just solid coverage in general and um, again that Terra Blast Ice being able to like nuke something like uh, a weakened uh, Santa Conda or um, just in general, just a, it's just a strong move, right? Base 80. It's also just an okay move to click when you're not Terra too, because it's a special base 80. Uh, it's it's a weaker hyper voice, basically, which is something it used to run. But I love yeah, Jolteon's so, high speed tier. So one of the big advantages for Jolteon, you mentioned the speed tier. Um, of the Pokemon that I feel are viable and actually good in, in you, uh, Jolteon has the highest speed tier. There's obviously Electrode, but you don't really see Electrode that much. Sorry, yeah, I talked um, about Electrode. I, I just literally glossed over it. My bad. I, may, may, maybe one day they will boost a special attack and it yeah, will it's, it's be called good. it's called a suing Electrode. <laughs> um, but one of the, another big advantage Jolteon has, there's not a lot of ground types in the tier and. Aside from offensive Terra Pokemon, there's not really that many Terra Grounds either. And Santa Conda, the most common ground type in the tier, usually doesn't want to be a ground type. It's usually wanting to be a fairy type. And you kind of put it in a catch-22, especially if you put it with Jolteon Passimian as a core. Like, if Santa Conda doesn't Terra, so it can block Volt Switch from Jolteon, that means it's taking neutral from close combat, which means it's taking a pretty good amount from close combat. Nice little chunk, yeah. Uh, and if it Terra Fairies to deal with the Simeon, which is definitely not a bad play at all, well now all of a sudden it's getting shredded by a Specs Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. And outside of Santa Conda, the only other remotely common ground types in the tier are Whiskash and Camerupt. And they're not exactly well known for their longevity at all. So it's pretty easy to just wear them down, knock them out, and then all of a sudden, you're free to spay and Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. Yeah. So, yeah. Ev so even though Terra Grass isn't listed, a lot of times you're not exactly having to use it. It's just there if you absolutely need it because you couldn't force their Santa Conda to Terra or you just need to get rid of Whiskash like turn one or whatever. Yeah. I love Whiskash too. Uh, I know we don't have it on the list, I believe, but. It getting Stealth Rock and Spike is really cool. Like, it actually having some viability besides. It, it has Oblivious to Block Taunt, which is nice, even though Taunt's not super common, but it's nice to have if you need it. Yeah, it's just nice, because, like, I mean, instead of failing to use Dragon Dance, except for in Rambats, uh, it's, like, really, <laughs> really cool to see that. Or, like, Gen 5. Um, but, yeah, Jolteon, great Mon, fast speed tier. Uh, obviously, uh, ground types, it, it, I want to say that it's not, like, it's good. It's good, right? But it is annoying. Like, you do, especially if you're fighting Heavy Duty Boots, Gujar, plus Wish support from, like, Vaporeon or something. Uh, it's very annoying to break certain cores, I will argue. 
But if yeah. you're fighting Specs Gudra, well, you do your 20, you do your, your, your 12, 13, 14% with Choice Specs Volt Switch. You got the spike, you got the stealth rock up. You're doing all this damage and you're just repeatedly wearing them down. Like this mod can break. Same thing with Muck, right? Muck is going to take like 30% from a Volt Switch, 20, 26, 30%, you know, maybe a little bit less at the leftovers. So being able to wear them down. Uh, Pokemon like this kind of open up. It's. I don't want to say it's like X Cloud because X Cloud is obviously on a, a whole nother planet, right? Oh, but yeah. you know how X Cloud can boom burst a Scavalier oh, and that, yeah. instead of being a three AK with boom burst, next time it comes in, it's a two AK, right? Jolteon can do that at a way less level, uh, but can turn those, you know, those five AKOs into four AKOs once it vultures into two AKOs with hazards up type of thing. Now, yep. and and one of the big things for Jolteon, um, the general lack of ground types means that. Even if there's like a really good check to it, like say Heavy Duty Boost Gudra, um, you're still able to Volt Switch, generate momentum, keep it on the back foot so it can't like rip a hole in your team or something like that. And that's where that high speed tier comes into play. It's outspeeding everything that isn't boosted. So even if there's like a matchup where yeah maybe there's not a ground type and there's something that can eat hits from it for days like maybe an umbreon or a gudra or something like that well guess what they're still not immune to volt switch so you're still able to keep up momentum keep them on the back foot and keep yourself in good positions yeah just the high speed here being able to take advantage of that too i love this mon dude i'm very happy uh, this is another mod that I don't think will stay in you for long, especially when Gudra gets banned and stuff like that. But no, even without Gudra getting so. banned, Venomoth is not staying. So Venomoth is very famous, guys, for one thing and one thing only. Tinted Lens plus Quiver Dance. And obviously, yep. uh, Tinted Lens means that your moves that are not very effective are essentially effective, right? They, 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 they are boosted. So it means that certain moves can't get resisted, right? Like Bug Buzz is not going to be resisted by a Steel type. And if the Pokemon was Skarmory you were hitting, right, a Pokemon four times weak to it, it would be two times weak to it instead. Uh, Sludge Bomb obviously just being nice right there too. We see Bug. A uh, Bug is a great Terra because you only need to click Bug Buzz for the most part. So Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder, if you manage to land your Sleep Powder, Bug Buzz. And then you can run Substitute as well, uh, allowing you to really just Quiver even more. The fact that this Pokemon is based 90 speed is very, very important. because being fa And also the fact that it resists um, close combat times... Uh, what is it? <laughs> Excuse me. Four times. Yeah, yeah. yeah four times. Um, I forgot the number for a second, man. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm about to go on this vacation. So I guess I deserve it. But uh, <laughs> it sounds like you need it. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if I sleep. But um, it's it's beautiful. And if you don't want that, you want extra coverage. Maybe for something like AV Copper Raja. You can run Terra Ground, Terra Blast. Um, also, it's not specifically for Copper Raja. It's for. Um, what, what is what is it, what is it that the 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 terror blast is supposed to hit like specific it's not copper raja with terror ground so it's so so terror ground is partially for copper raja because it can phase you out with whirlwind yeah but um but another big thing is for is crocolore because it's ignoring your boost yes yes so even though, yeah, yeah exactly exactly the moment we just talked so, about yeah so even though like yeah you're 10 and win so it's not resisting your move but it's still ignoring your boost so mm -hmm. you're never getting through it without terra so now you, get, terra and you also lose your uh you lose your your flamethrower weakness and it also gives you something versus toxic croak too that's those are the two mods i was remembering Co uh, yep. crocolore and toxic croak and toxic croak yeah um another terror you could use i didn't list it here is ghosts and this is especially good with substitute because then you set up all over chancy I like that. you just use that thing as set of fodder. Um, Chansey isn't the most common thing down here, which is, I know, a shock to like Gen Eight minds. Um, but like, it's not bad down here. But it's definitely not like centralizing breaking the tier or anything like that. Which is why I didn't list Terragos, but I did want to mention it as an option. That said, you generally just need Bug Bus. Like, if you're really annoyed. At the possibility of facing Crocodile or Toxicroak, you can use Terra Ground, Terra Blast. Um, but even even in that case, right? If you Terra Bug, like you're still doing so much to Croak, regardless of resist. Like, oh yeah, especially yeah, after that's, that's taking that's taking over fifty easy. Yeah, exa exactly. And it's and it's not like it can one shot you back. Like, exactly, exactly. It's not, it's not. Um, but it's just something that like, it's such a good month. It's not going to stay here forever. 
Um, nope. <laughs> I think the only reason it's not like at the top of the list is because, because Gujaran saps it so it can't sleep powder it. But even then, Venomoth can beat Gujar 1v1. Like it can. Uh, especially if it gets the like if it has the quiver dance and then Gujar comes in and they quiver dances again. Like it definitely can, unless it's like the face oh, yeah. with Dragon Tail. So um definitely a big threat. I do not expect it to stay in you at all. I'm happy that Paldia Combat, aka Fighting Tauros, is not exactly terrible here, especially in a meta game where all the um all the fighters are good. And that's primarily because of its base 100 speed stat uh, and obviously bulk up plus intimidate. So <clears throat> there is, however, the uh, the risk of coming in on Pacivian. <laughs> that's the big thing because you are giving them... You don't the want to come boost. in on that. Yeah. Can't confirm. <laughs> Unless you know they're going for knockoff. But bulk up, Raging Bull, Trailblaze, Rock Slide, Rock Slide, let's hit Oricario and Flying Types in general. Trailblaze gives you your speed boost. Raging Bull is your fighting stat. Terrifying to make Raging Bull even more. Um, you know, you don't you're bulking up, so you don't want to use close combat in that regard. But I do think that Bandit and Scarf close combat are still okay. Just oh, yeah. worse oh, than yeah. I think just worse than Metacham and Pacimian personally. Though the speed tier makes it different. I just think it's a little bit worse. And, but the fact that this Taurus is base 105 defense makes bulk up a little bit easier. I will also say you can use um I, I've seen on offenses uh, with spike stacking, bulk up life orb, terror blast electric. Uh, something to kind of just muscle through the bulky waters in the tier. Yeah, Vaporeon, yeah. Or Ikorio, it's just a new, good neutral. Uh, it also ran Rock Slide, Rock Slide too. So it's just like a for, for like the Oko and Quillfish, what I've been run. Um, and like Veluza. Basically, like I said, uh, Vaporeon is a big one. No, Vaporeon is a big one. They'll terrify. And also, you don't want to be weak to like Psychic and yeah. things like that. Um, so I'm... I might be in the minority with this, and I know on paper Metacham looks way better, but in practice, I think Tauros is better okay. because it, it brings more. So it brings more defensively to the table, right? Like it can take hits, like it's not, like it's not gonna take a million hits per game or anything like that. But it can take a couple. Metacham can't really take a hit. Yeah. If it's not sweeping, what is it? If it's not sweeping, and there's something like a Sandaconda on the enemy team, what is it doing? Not a whole lot. Um, Tauros can actually somewhat use Santa Con as a setup. Like if it's not using if it's not glare, then you can just bulk up all over it. Um and then if you're a choice, um you have a higher speed tier. So like you're outpacing Mabasa, if you're outspeeding the Oracorios before they boost it. If you're choice scarf, you outspeed the master of boost. Um uh, you're if you're scarf, you outspeed opposing scarf Pacinian. Like I just think it offers way more utility mm. than Metachan does, and I feel like Right now in this tier, as a fighting type, your game plan can't just be click close combat and win. Um, because every team is preparing for that because of the Simeon. Like, you have to bring something else to the table if that plan is not immediately available to you. Obviously, the has got knockoff in U-turn to get something out of all of its turns. Tauros has Intimidate and good physical bulk, so it can come in on like weaker physical attacks. Medicham is taking like 50 from most weaker physical attacks because it's not very defensively sound. Like, don't get me wrong, Medicham is still good. I'm not trying to say it's not. But I feel Tauros brings more to the table right now. I know I might be in the minority. No, I mean, I, 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 could see, I could see it. I also want to say that Terra Electric, uh, not to like sidetrack, uh, Bruxish no, gets the kill on Bruxish and also resists mm -hmm. both Electric and Flying. So it's the Oracorio setup. Like, even with your yep. base 7570. Um, but I mean, I I'm going to use a little bit more Taro speeds. I mean, I love the other two. The other two are great. I think the other two are great in their respective tiers and also oh. OU, right? I think they're great in all of them. Like, I love those Taro. So I'm definitely going to use this one. This was the one I played through with the game. It's just a little bit sad. It doesn't get better coverage, right? The other ones get Raging Bull, which gives them all the coverage in the world. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's like the one negative. It doesn't have the best coverage in the world. But that's kind of where that speed tier and defensive utility come into yeah. play. Like, it's... You don't have the coverage for what you need in a given situation. It's fine. You're still able to take a couple of physical hits. You still outspeed a lot of offensive Pokemon in the tier, and I think that can't go undervalued because imagine like Choice Band probably in Taurus. Yeah, it's not as strong as Metacham, but it outspeeds Bruxish. It outspeeds Metacham. It outspeeds uh, Mabostiff. It outspeeds Gudra. Like it outspeeds a lot of the heavy hitters. And you're not exactly a soft hitter yourself. You have 110 attack. So, like, even resisted close combats with a choice band boost, still going to be doing a decent amount. 
Yeah. I mean, it's still a strong Pokemon in general, right? 110 attack, 100 speed. Just you're faster than a lot of the Pokemon in the tier. So it's a decent Pokemon. Yeah. So we're nearing the end of the list, and now we're going to be talking about Vaporeon, a Pokemon that finally got a little upgrade, right? Though it got a downgrade from No Scald, but it got an upgrade for, you know, after years, right? Like, you had regular Vaporeon, you had Growth Vaporeon on Gen 2, but that event didn't transfer to Gen 3 and higher, or whatever. And then you've had Wish Protect for the most part, and Gen 5, you saw some Specs Vaporeon. I've used Specs Vaporeon with Copycat too, recent years. But um, especially Vaporeon, or you also saw Rest of Hydration, but for the most part, Wish Support is going to be the staple of Vaporeon. But in this generation, it now has access to Close Combat and Wish Protect, Surf, Close us. Uh, excuse me, wow, Close Combat, what is wrong with me? Wow, Calm 65 mind. base attack, Close Combat. Hey man, oh, alright, hey, watch out, them King Gammons, bro, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna cry <laughs> themselves to sleep. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm, not I, to, I really Not like, to mention the Tyranitars. <laughs> I really like Calm Mind on Vaporeon uh, a lot. Mm. We have Steel and Darts, Terra types, but I really like Ground as well. And my main thought process is uh, the Grass types and the Grass type moves in the tier for the most part are special. And besides, like, you know, Leafeon, Jump Bluff, and stuff like that. And they're not really going to be hitting you as hard from the special side anyway. Um, because after a couple Calm Minds, this mod is a little demon, right? It's a. It has 95 base special defense and 130 HP. So having that immunity to electric from Oricorio and from Jolteon is yeah. really, really nice. And just Surf is just such a good mono move. Like water is such a good... And plus on top of that, you, you still don't have a water weakness because you still have water absorb, right? So they cannot hit you with a water move after that. So you yeah, you have the ice and grass weakness, but that's it. You now have an electric immunity and you have a water immunity. You resist a rock moves as well. So... I think it's a really, really nice uh, catch-all for Vaporeon. I liked it a little bit better in RU because of Kilowattril um, than, than NU, obviously. But, I mean, you can obviously talk about Vaporeon, fam. Yeah, so I, Ground is definitely not a bad Terra type on Vaporeon. Um, like, you get the Electric Community, which is really nice. You block Volt Switch. Um and stuff like that it can give you some extra setup opportunities it makes you resistant to stealth rock as well which is never a bad thing on a defensive pokemon um and one of the main uh pluses for vaporeon uh that water immunity is really good in a tier where bruxish is scary as all get out because not much likes taking choice banded terra water boosted wave crashes the Porion does, it still takes approximately negative 25%. It actually heals. It heals yeah. that. It heals, yeah. Um, but uh, the reason I have Steel and Dark listed, uh, Steel is just your general catch-all defensive typing, and you become immune to Toxic Poison, which is really good on a slow booster. Usually one of the best ways to stop a slow booster is to hit it with Toxic Poison, and now, doesn't matter how good it might be, as long as you can outlast it, it's gone and it's officially going to be gone because toxic poison just ruins slow boosters um dark is also really nice because then you pretty much become a catch-all answer to bruxish because now you're immune to both of its stabs and switching into that pokemon as rough as it is switching into gudra it might be even rougher switching into that um because terra dark for porion is about the only true answer to bruxish yeah resist, now i will say psychic uh, things i mean yeah. me, immune to uh, crunch uh immune, yeah, immune to psychic, to psychic things, things. <laughs> resist crunch immune to, Im immune, immune to wave crunch. and heal for water moves um now i will say uh if you're going terra dark i think calm mind is a bit worse if you're going that route because then like you're vulnerable to poison um, I would probably go one of the other support moves like Yawn, Haze, maybe even run Ice Beam uh, to catch some uh, Terror Pokemon. Uh, the EVs I've listed here is enough to outspeed 4 speed Sanaconda, which is like basically all Sanaconda. That's really important because even if it's Terror, the Fairy is taking about a good 40 45% from Surf. Um, which is really nice because then you just put a ton of pressure on it. And obviously if it hasn't tarried yet, maybe something else on its team has, then you just wipe it out before it can do anything to you. And they might be expecting to outspeed you because they're naturally faster than you, but not by much. Yeah. It's, I mean, you have Haze as well. Like you mentioned, uh, Haze mm -hmm. is really strong. 
Uh, I mean, Performer's naturally especially bulky too, so you can obviously use the hay, uh, Haze for Venom off, but um, just being able to yawn, like you like a Brave Bird from uh, Bulk Up, Braviary and things like that, just being able to yawn spam with Hazards up, especially as we mentioned earlier, this team oh, does yeah. not have good Hazard control. So being no, able- Vaporeon is yeah. really good exactly. with the T-Spikers, Mux, Gun Tank, Vespaquin, Paraswella, Sandaconda, and Kaparaja both. Like, it's just, it's a really good glue Pokemon. And that's typically the times where Vaporeon is at its best, right? It's typically the glue Pokemon holding teams together, keeping them healthy with Wish. Except this generation now, it has the option to go for game with Surf. Uh, it's stuff that's been poisoned. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this a couple of times, like in the Inu room and stuff like that. But T-Spikes with Calm Mind Vaporeon, Kind of nasty, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's ins it's a great mod. This plus Muck is a very good combo. Like, it's a beautiful combo. This thing takes, like, yep. most of the, if not all the ground moves, uh, which is really, one, really Yeah, cool. one last thing I will say on Vaporeon is about Calm Mind. If you're using this as a win condition on stall, you should probably have Umbreon on the team, which is also a very good wish passer in the tier, and you can just go... Rest Talk Calm Mind, a la Crocoon, or you can go Sub Calm Mind and have Ice Beam for coverage in that case, because then it's more your dedicated win condition as opposed to what Vaporeon would do on a more balanced team, and mm -hmm. that's just being a win con if the opportunity arises. Yep, I agree. And then, of course, we mentioned Bruxus, we gotta talk about it. So we have, you know, Choice Man. Uh, Choice is there just in case it's Life Orb, Mystic Water, whatever the hell it wants to be. It's mm -hmm. insane. Uh, part of Brux's success, obviously, is the ins well. They gave it everything, right? <laughs> like Terra, the fact that it has Wave Crash is the biggest thing. They gave this thing Wave Crash, and they did not give Barrisky to Wave Crash. I'm a little, I'm a little mad. <laughs> I'm a little mad. I, about guess, I, I guess, I guess they figured Barrisky was good enough without it. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy though because it's not because right now Floats will overtake it as the best <laughs> uh, Swiss swimmer. But Brux is really nice because of Strong Jaw, so it gets a big boost on Psychic Fangs. It gets a nice boost on Crunch as well. Um, it is now, uh, it previously, like the best thing about Bruxus was that you were clicking psychic things, right? It didn't really have that strong of a water move, but wave crash fixes that. Uh, you have aqua jet for priority. And if you don't want to use crunch and choice band, you can use swords ends. Uh, part of the reason that Bruxus is so successful is that it's faster than every damn Pokemon in this tier. <laughs> That's a threat, right? It's faster than Gudra, Passimian that are not choice. Uh, it's faster than Metajam. It's faster than my boss. If. Like, it's just faster than Venomoth. Like, it's so freaking fast, and it hits so hard, guys. The choice being set yeah, so hard. The, the big, yeah, the big thing, and the reason Terra Water is the primary Terra type, a lot of the stuff that's faster than Bruxus doesn't take Aqua Jet very well mm -hmm. at all. Like, you think about it, you think about Jolteon, you think about... Um, Let's see, what what else would be faster? You've got Jolteon, you've got um, Lycanroc, obviously that just dies immediately to Aqua Jet. Um, I'm sure there's others that aren't coming off the top of my head that are faster and just don't take Aqua Jet that well. Like I mean, even Quiver Braviary Dancers, at like 50, like won't take, yeah, like, 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 won't like appreciate. Yeah, like Quiver Dancer that are plus one if they've taken chip damage, they're, yeah. they're dying to Aqua Jet. Um, and this thing is like so powerful and so good right now that it's making Cacturn an actually decent option in the tier. Yeah, like like, like the spikes. The yep, it is the spikes. Yeah, not 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 that Cacturn is terrible per se because like it does have Swords Dance, it does have spikes, so it has use cases. But no, even Cacturn. Clear, but, uh, hmm? I was about to say even Cacturn takes a lot from Bandit Crunch if it's not defensive. It takes like almost forty. Oh yeah. Um... But yeah, like just like so many of the Pokemon that are weak to um, Bruxish is just insane. Like the few things that are faster than that don't like taking Aqua Jet. That's why we're Terra Water, so we can just amplify that power even more. Um, and the reason the Swords Dance set doesn't run Crunch, at like you would think it would run crunch, right, to deal with Vaporeon, because Terra Dark's Vaporeon, we've already discussed it, completely walls the stab combination of this thing. Um, that's really about the that and Cacturn are like the only two things that wall off boosted water psychic moves coming from this. 
So you're basically just saying, I'll let the rest of my team deal with those two specific threats and just mash, run, mash run, everything just, else. Yeah. Just run, yeah, run over everything else, yeah. Another important target that Aquaja actually helps pick off is Zangus. Because uh, obviously yep. Terra, normal, Swords Dance, Toxic, Boosted, Zangus' quick attack is extremely strong versus offense. You're fast and you're Zangus. So, you know, and Zangus is not a mod that sets up for free ever, right? It's going right. to take damage, it's going to take hazard damage, it's going to take whatever I attacked it with, it's going to take poison damage. So you wear it down, you get the Aqua Jet chip, and you knock it out like that. So I, I like this mod, man. It's crazy that they gave it Wave Crash. Like the, I, don't, I don't think it's staying in, in you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I had to go through this list, Bruxish, Venomoth, Gudra are the ones that immediately come to mind. Uh, eventually get banned them i mean we didn't talk about metacham at all but i'm sure metacham and uh maybe even pass might be looked at in the future but i think this also depends on terra um but i think yeah. specifically uh venom there's also there's also a boss that wasn't yeah. on this list that is a really crazy wall breaker With stake, that uh, yeah. these 80s yeah the, the stake out is the biggest thing on it like the yep. fact that you switch it out on it once and you take like that's 10, it, that percent. thing that thing choice ban stake out crunch from mabostas does about 35 40 percent to a terra fairy santa condo which is kind of nuts Fizz so imagine Fully what that thing does yeah. to not resist <laughs> yeah yeah so like i mean it's crazy like vaporian has to be careful about coming away hazards because it, it, it can in theory eat the second one um but it, it determines what protect and how many hazards are up and everything like that but there's, all, there's, all, there's also about a Let's see, what's uh, Crunch's defense drop rate? Yeah, there's a 20% 20. chance that it just won't anyway because it gets its yeah, defense drop. Exactly, switching. exactly. I mean, it's the first good stakeout user, right? They could argue it's the first good yeah, stakeout user. Yeah, ab absolutely. Good speed and actually forces switches and good attack. Like, it's it's insane. Um, but that's kind of all we really have to talk about. So what mods are you guys looking at? And you let us know, um, you know, we'll be going back and forth between any and are you. Eon is a good friend of mine. And um, yeah, I'll probably bring some gameplay as well. Uh, but hope y'all enjoy it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. That's it. Goodbye.